Hey YouTube, Gold Hunter here, and today's mail day, and we have three packages to open up. Honestly, we're going to have some gold, silver, more coins. <laughs> As you see, we have three packages to open up today. And uh, let's just get at it. I'm not really, I have an idea what's in them. I'm not sure 100% what's what. So let's move some of these aside. Let's do this one later, this one. Let's do this one here first. So I like to find a spot where I can open them up. I feel this side here, there's like a little, actually, Right across the top here, I can feel that there's nothing there. So, because we don't want to cut into something, right? Cut like, especially if it's gold. I don't think this one's gold, but um, I, there's very likely there might be gold in one of these. And if you had a thin piece of gold, you'd cut it in half with scissors, right? So, all right. So, first off, I don't really care for the white envelope thing, as you know. But... This person is doing a good job in the fact of they're making the cardboard that goes inside the hold item the same size as the envelope, right? That is very wise. Okay. It means it's not very much play for it to shake around. All right. So I still give them a decent score for that. So now let's open up this. So again, you don't want to try and cut too far in because you don't really know what's in here. So we only want to cut what we have to. Let's see if I can get into this. Oh, I see what we got. You're gonna see in a second here something that you know I like a lot. So let's get rid of the scissors. All right. So oh, we got some 90% US silver. Well, let's get those scissors back. All right. So normally this isn't as much of a struggle either, but I'm trying to do this with a bunch of camera gear around me, so. And if you see this here, that's okay. Because I, I take these out of the package or out of the two by twos anyways. All right. So first one we have is a 1963 Franklin. Uh Benjamin Franklin. It's a half dollar US, 90% silver. And then there's a 1961 and a 1962. So 61, 62, and 63 Franklin. 90% silver. You know how much I love US 90% silver. All right, moving on. Let's open this package up. Let's see. Yeah, I feel right along that edge. There's nothing there. So we're just going to slice her right up here. Not really close to the edge because you never know. We don't want to cut into something, like we've said. Okay. So, I like the bubble mailer. The cardboard was alright. I wish it would have stuck the other piece to this piece. But they did have it the same size envelope and they had it covering it so that's not too bad I will still give them a passing grade now this is well packaged in a way um, so 
So let's see if we can get this out now. And so remember these Franklins over here, we are going to have a video very soon on on fakes, right? Because I have purchased uh, some to do a video with. We'll end up destroying them someday. The fakes, not these really good ones, like these genuine ones. We uh, we will do a, a video on fakes and how to test and how to determine all that cool stuff with you in a future video. It won't be too long from now. All right, so we got a 1967 Canadian silver dollar. You can tell it's been cleaned, which is okay, because I don't collect it as a coin. I'm collecting it as scrap silver, right? Now, what's in this one? Normally, I wouldn't recommend this, but again, to me, this is all scrap, so... Well, we have a 50 cent piece, Canadian, and it looks like it's 19, possibly 19, okay? So if it is, it'll be sterling silver, right? So this will be 80%, this will be sterling. And I guess I should uh, maybe bring you in for a little bit of close up on some of the stuff, okay? There's your first Franklin. It's a 61. Right. 62. And also this should be the 63. Okay, here's 67, silver dollar Canada, 80%, and here's your uh, 50 cent, and to me it looks like a 1919, but it's really hard to see, it's very warm, but that's alright, because it still has silver value, right, and I got these at, I believe, a reasonable price, so. Like it wasn't definitely not over spot, which to me, if you can get any solar for spot, that's not too bad. If you get it under, that's even better though, right? So here's another half dollar Canadian, and I can't see what it is, but it's definitely been cleaned. Okay. So, so far, two half dollars and one full dollar. This is quite the package job. They did a good job. It definitely wasn't uh, going to move around in this package. Other than, like I said, I wish that other cardboard was taped on top of it. But it did make it a little bit easier to open up. But they still did a good job because they made it the same size as the envelope, right? What else we got here? This is. See, this one looks like it might be 1914. It's another half dollar. All right. And yeah, I'm not, you might see like, I'm not that careful with some of these. Like to me, this is all just something I'm going to stack, right? I'm not looking for the, I'm looking for the metal value, not the, not the numinist, numistical value. You know what I mean? Like, what is this? And that's another half dollar. And... I cannot see what that year is. So.
Yeah. So I have, this might not even be a uh, sterling, right? It might be, because I can't see the year. But because it's King George, this could be 80%. Right? But it could be sterling. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to think here. Yeah, it could be. Could be the one. I'm not really sure. We would have to get it tested to find out for sure. All right. So let's put those over to the side. And we'll open up this one. Oh, just wait. We almost missed something. Look at this. Really hard to see it. They have it in the bad spot. We've got gold. So let's see if we can get this thing out. This might not be that fun. This is why we have to be careful when we're cutting, right? If we would have cut into this, we would have been cut in half. All right, so this I ended up purchasing with it. It's a 10 carat gold chain, gold necklace, right? It's very small. See if we have a hallmark on it. Let's see if we can get the focus. Yeah, so 10 karat gold bracelet. No, or necklace. Now I'm not really sure how much that weighs. But let's get a scale. I'll go grab a scale and find out. Later. 0.883. I just want to move my scale here under the Okay. 0.882. So, a little more than three quarters of a gram, or yeah, three quarters of a gram. Uh, closer actually to a gram, I guess, than three quarters of a gram. Right. So that's not too bad of 10 karat so that's probably worth right now around 40 dollars all right last one to open up actually let's put that in a little baggie before we go too far because we don't want to lose that right and with it just sitting like that it could fall down behind this uh, table or wherever and get lost so let's put it in a little baggie to keep that from happening so I get one out that's all all right now I can just put that with my other gold so again this could become a gift for someone for me or I can just stack it right so I buy it to stack. I like stacking stuff like that because I can get it cheaper than scrap or melt price a lot of times. And it's gold. It's still gold. No matter how you look at that, that's still gold. 
It's not pure, but it's still gold. There's still gold in it. So, I do like stacking that way. All right. And we'll do a video on that, actually. On why it's actually very smart to stack jewelry. Okay? It might even be smarter to stack jewelry than to stack coins or uh, bars or, or uh, rounds, right? Like bullion. All right, what's in this package? And this is, if it is what I think it is, we're in for a treat here. Oh, this one's. If this is what I think it is, we're going to be in for a treat with this. Oh, wow. All right. So, this is, uh, I've seen these before. These are pretty cool. So, they're cardboard made for envelopes, right? That glues down and it doesn't stick to the product. Just to get it out, that's all. Oh, there we are. So, if this is what it is, I think it is, it's going to be pretty cool. And it is. Look what we got here. I've purchased some gold nuggets. Isn't that cool, eh? So, I believe that's a 0 0.6 gram. And that one there, I think is 1.9 grams of, of a nugget. Okay, a gold nugget. Pretty cool, eh? I don't know if you can, how well you can see that. So I'm gonna, so that, so this one here is 0.6, and that one there is 1.9 grams. Pretty awesome. Okay. Now, I'm not sure there's nothing else in there. I don't think there is. No. Okay, good. You know what? How will we take them out when we weigh them? Well, we just moved all that over there, and now we're going to move it back. All right. Oh, we'll tear it up. Rip this open. Watch me lose them now. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. all right. Let's see. They're supposed to be 0. 0.6. Yeah, a little bit under, but maybe we should uh, tear our scale first. And this one's supposed to be 1.9. And it is, it's 1.924. All right. Well, actually, let's tear it, tear it. See again, we'll do it. Yeah, so I'd say it's 0.5, actually, not 0.6, but so they've rounded up on that one. But then the, so the thing is, but they've rounded down on this one, right? So I think we're pretty even still. Okay, well, that's going to be it for the video. And total together, 2.46. All right, so that's going to be it for this video. And actually, I don't know if I like that. Why does that say two point? Let's try that again. Let's tear it. Two point four six. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess I was thinking I was getting 2.5. But it's pretty close, right? If you round that up, it is 2.5. So, that's going to be it for the video. I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, if you want to see more, if you're entertained at very least, if you learned something, please subscribe. Uh, like, share. Now, I should have let you in a little earlier on this. And I'll let you in now. My previous video to this one is a gold giveaway video. So 
if you're watching this one, you haven't got in on that one yet, go back and get in on it. Now you only have till March 29th, 2024, but if it's within that date, get back there, give that a watch. You don't even have to watch the whole thing, but there's a rules video even before that one. And uh, I could tell you what the rules are now. You just have to subscribe to this channel and you need to put hashtag free gold all in capitals, all one word, in the comments of that video, okay? And you have a chance to win some free gold. It's not very much, it's very small, but it's free to you, right? So why not? All right, see you on the other side. Gold Hunter out.